thing I'm curious about is how, obviously it's cost you a fair chunk of change and investment, is how did, how did, you, how did you get these businesses into your system? So we started with, uh, so we have two sets of data, and this is really important uh, because, you know, we're not a big brother company. We have two sets of data. Data set number one is all the public information about these businesses. And right now, if you look at all the big players of data, if you look at Dun & Bradstreet, if you look at all the credit bureaus, if you look at all those players, we have twice as much data as any of those players have. And we've collected that from publicly sourced data. Very expensive, but we've gone to the expense. We put that in what's called your public vault. That means if there's information about you publicly, we've collected it. And we're gonna right. keep doing that and keep adding to that. Yeah. That's your public vault. You don't need to do anything for that. You, you don't need to, or, or we just put it together for you to make your life easier. The second vault is the one that gets very interesting. This is the non-public vault. This is where a business comes in claims their record, which means claims their public data, gets to update it if they need to. It has to be verifiable what they update, you know, so you can't just write, you know, I, I build rocket ships when really you're building widgets. So it has to be verifiable what you update. The second set of data is all those things that represent the 17 days of friction that we talked about a little earlier, i.e. your non-public data. And that's entirely at your discretion in terms of how that's managed. You can either keep it completely private, you can choose to add it to your public profile, or you can share it selectively, either as a token or secure data. What, what does that mean? So your there are about 10 items that people are consistently asked for, their tax returns, their EIN or their company number, mm -hmm. um, number of other things. You get to put it once in, the, in your Marcas vault that's yours, only at your control, only at your discretion, and the next time you're asked for it, instead of having to go scrounge up that stuff again or round it up, you click a button and we will send it on your behalf. So the call to action is come claim your data, not come sign up or come tell us who you are. We know who you are. We know who everyone is. Come claim your record, come update it if you need to, uh, and off you go. And uh, that process should take you somewhere between two and five minutes. Uh, it's two items of data that are required. Um, I can invite you, Jeff, to come claim your data because I want to do business with you. Or a big, a big enterprise can invite you to do that. It could be your bank, it could be your insurance company, it could be your phone company or somebody else. So we have two sides of the business. We have one side that's called Marcas for Small Business, which is the direct model where we will reach out and say, hey, come claim your data. And the other is called uh, Marcas as a Service, which is our enterprise grade solution where somebody claims the record on your behalf and says, hey, Jeff, I've, I've claimed your business for you. Here's your login details. Go update them and, you know, enjoy this platform.